Good evening, everyone. It's wonderful to see so many people here tonight for this really, really important uh, event. Can I also begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the lands on which we are meeting this evening. We honour their elders and their continuing cultural and spiritual connection to this land as we walk together on the path to reconciliation. Now, Bruce has done a fantastic job with the acknowledgements, but I also do want to acknowledge the Honourable Di Farmer, MP, Minister for Employment and Small Business, and Minister for Training and Skills Development, and very pleased to have you here uh, this evening, Mr Peter Varghese, AO Chancellor, and distinguished guests, colleagues, one and all. Now, as I said, it really is my very great pleasure to join you this evening to help celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Parenting and Family Support Centre at UQ. Now, I do feel I'm in a particularly privileged position of doing this and viewing this celebration from two distinct vantage points, both currently as Vice-Chancellor, but back then, in 1996, that was quite a long time ago, Matt, as, uh, as an academic in the School of Psychology when the centre was established. So back then, in 1996, the new centre's Founder and Director, Professor Matt Sanders, brought a remarkable clarity of vision as to what he wanted to achieve. Now, back then when I was running uh, a research group, I thought, wow, that's impressive. Matt knew exactly where he wanted to go, and here we are 25 years later celebrating those achievements. But from the outset, the aim was to establish a world-class specialist parenting and family intervention centre that would conduct high quality research and develop evidence-based programs. But more than that, Matt's vision right from the beginning was to translate that knowledge into impact by disseminating evidence-based programs for public benefit. This emphasis on translation and public benefit was particularly laudable. The Parenting and Family Support Centre has not only met those foundational goals and those important goals, it has far exceeded them. In fact, it has blazed a trail for others in the social and behavioural sciences to follow. And it has demonstrated that social science innovations can be successfully commercialised at the same time as being immensely powerful agents for social good. As a society, I think as we all know, the single most important thing we can do is to promote the development and well-being of children. That's incredibly important as we think to future generations. And the way we do that is to increase the knowledge, the skills and the confidence of their parents. Professor Matt Sanders and his colleagues have now been pioneering, refining and evaluating Triple P their multi-level system of evidence-based parenting and family support for decades. And there's many, many of Matt's colleagues in the room here tonight who have contributed to that. And the engine room that continues to power Triple P's development is the Parenting and Family Support Centre. The centre has produced an impressive 575 scientific publications, trained almost 60 PhD students, attracted almost $19 million in grant funding and received support from numerous government and philanthropic partners around the country. In Australia, Triple P has been implemented in five states, including Queensland, where the government has made the online program free to all parents. Globally, we've now trained 98,000 Triple P providers in 58 countries, but perhaps the most impressive figure and the most important figure of all is that an estimated 7 million families worldwide now access Triple P services. That's an extraordinary impact, global impact, for a centre that started 25 years ago with just a three-year establishment grant from the Queensland Government. As we consider the future, I think it's clear we'll always need Triple P. The COVID pandemic has reminded us how rapidly and dramatically the social conditions in which we parent can change overnight. 
The circumstances of parenting evolve and so does this program. 25 years ago, I doubt that anyone had heard of cyberbullying, but it now reaches directly into our homes, creating challenges for both parents and children alike. And I know that great consideration has been given to these and many other changes in the centre's new five-year strategic plan, a plan that will ensure that UQ remains a world leader in evidence-based parenting and family interventions. But more broadly, the Australian Government has made it clear that it wants a more joined-up innovation ecosystem to help drive our future economic and social prosperity. Education Minister Alan Tudge has said he wants, and I quote, our high quality research to better translate into the breakthrough products, new businesses, and the ideas that we need to grow our economy and improve our society. But it's not just new businesses and products that are so critical to our future. Social science innovations like Triple P go to the very fabric of our society and they have intergenerational impacts that have the capacity to transform the lives of whole families and whole communities. And indeed, as many of you will have heard me say before, as a university, we're ultimately responsible for just three things. We educate, we research, and we enrich the communities in which we are embedded. And it's hard to think of a better demonstration of this academic trinity than the Triple P parenting program. So thank you, Matt. Thank you for all of your colleagues and your staff, both past and present, of the UQ's Parenting and Family Support Centre. The tremendous outcomes of the past 25 years are something that you should all be immensely proud of, and we are certainly very proud of them uh, as, as a university. You've had a very significant impact on countless lives. I also thank all of the long-standing friends and partners of the centre and also the staff of Triple P International around the world. And finally, thank you to the Queensland Government for its continuing support. And on that note, it's my great pleasure to now welcome the Honourable Di Farmer to address us. Thank you very much.